Hi, this is Tom Cotter, and if you know me, you know this car. And you know that I found it during the first season of Barn Find Hunter, I fell in love with it, and a couple months later, it was in my driveway. 67 Ford Country Squire, uh, the only one built with a 428 cubic inch, a four speed, manual gearbox, bucket seats and a console. Uh, it, was, it was built uh, with a final approval by Lee Iacocca. We have the Marty Report, pages of documentations. It's a great car that's never been modified until I bought it. And I did make a few modifications to it. I want to just point those out to you. The first thing I did was, this car was, uh, it, it came with drum brakes, four wheel drum brakes. So I put a set of Willwood disc brakes in the front of it. So it's got much better stopping power now. Uh, so the Willwood disc brake setup comes with new master cylinder. It's got a proportioning valve. And so the brakes are much better. I mean, as you know, I drive this car. Every time you see an episode of Barn Fun Hunter where I, I'm in this car, you know, we drive it a thousand miles in, over the course of five days. The carburetor that comes on a 428 uh, 335 horsepower Galaxy is an Autolite 4300. And I live in NASCAR country, and when I spoke to one of the carburetor experts uh, in NASCAR land, he said, take that carburetor and chuck it in a lake. So I did. And what I did was I bought something, and you can look at the original air cleaner, everything's, everything's original right here, can't tell the difference. But it's got a uh, FI Tech fuel injection unit. It's a, a throttle body unit that bolts on the original intake manifold and it works just great. It starts in cold weather, it idles smoothly, you can adjust it from inside the car. There's a little uh, keypad to adjust uh, idle. Um, you have to put a second fuel pump on this. As you know, fuel injection has not only a pump to pump from the gas tank to this unit, but then another one to return un unused fuel. So you got two fuel pumps going. The one in the back, you can hear, it's kind of a pain in the neck. Uh, it, it's backed by the tank and it returns fuel that's not used by the, the unit. Um, it's You could probably isolate that fuel pump a little bit better on rubber or build a box around it with foam rubber. I, I'm used to the noise, it's no big deal. Uh, the ba real benefit to this is on the highway, when I first got this car, I got 10 and a half miles a gallon. With this unit on it, it gets 13 and a half miles a gallon. You know, still still not great gas mileage, but just imagine it's about a 30% increase in fuel mileage. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? I'll, I'll put that on later. Uh, the factory did not sell these cars with dual exhaust, but I had to have dual exhaust on it. I mean, you can't have an engine like that kind of uh, shrunk down to a single exhaust. So, I, you know, it's got dual exhaust and they're pointing out the way they should sideways. So when you open the back window, you don't get fumes if they were pointing straight out. So I got a set of uh, Flowmaster mufflers on there. It sounds really bitching. Uh, you know, it's pretty good, pretty good modification. So let's see. Oh, and then the, the other big, big modification I did was well, not really a modification. It was a kind of a maintenance repair. We took the body off the frame and uh, these station wagons, actually galaxies in general, have a, a, a problem where there's corrosion underneath the car and frames can just break in half. It's happened. So we picked the body off the frame. There are rubber biscuits that go insulate the body from the chassis. And those biscuits, some of them had broken through the, the frame. So picked the, the frame up, welded up those spots, put new biscuits on, repaired a lot of the corrosion that had been starting underneath the body and the frame and put it back down and now I mean this car doesn't have any rattles it's uh, it's really a good car so uh, full disclosure uh, what would I do with this car if I had you know we're gonna keep it a long time I've had it now probably four years and I love it but I you know I have 21 cars it's time to start selling some I've always wanted to put a set of Krager SS's on a car this is the car I would have I would do it on. I would put, you know, a set of new radial wide tires and uh, Krager SS's, but I'll leave it to you to do. Uh, I would probably put new shocks on it. 
you know, they're, they're, they're not blown out. I just, I would get a real firm shock, maybe an adjustable coney type shock, uh, so it didn't wallow as much. Um, talk about wheels. One of the, one of the pains in this car is that these hubcaps tend to fly off occasionally. And so it's got three hubcaps on there now. The one over there is this one. Thankfully, we found it in the bushes. When I was driving to Hershey last year, I lost two hubcaps within a mile. Uh, so just keep that in mind. I think there's something egg-shaped with this hubcap. You're going to get it, and you can figure out how to fix it or maybe get another one. It kind of looks cool with them on there, very period. These two back side windows don't go down, OK? Uh, but included in the car purchase are two brand new window motors that will make these go up and down. So there's two new ones here for this, the rear side windows. Uh, I guess another thing to uh, think about is that the back window here needs to be coached up and down. Okay, from here on, you got to push it down. And there it is. The tailgate opens in two directions. Uh, you probably don't want to do that too often because the hinges are not in good shape. I think I have an NOS hinge I'll, put, I'll throw in with the car, but it needs a dual hinge. One hinge opens it this way, traditional tailgate. The other hinge opens it this way, which is like a door. It's got the dual facing rear seats. Pretty cool stuff. The car comes with kind of a, a mini garage. This is a, uh, a bag the car drives into and zips up. So if you're going to store this car over the winter time, whatever, you want to keep the varmints out of it, it comes with the car, as well as a couple, a couple of easels for the display boards that come with the car. So these are easels when you go to a car show, or cars of coffee, you want to just show the car off. It's got the Marty report, uh, a copy of the bill of sale, so those are all items that come with the car as well. So this, this goes up now, comes that far, and then you turn the key and lift and turn and lift and turn. Voila. And that probably can be fixed just working with the tracks a little bit. I'm going to miss this car. If you know uh, from Barn Find Hunter, I really love driving it. This would be a hard car to restore. It's involved, it's heavy. The parts are hard to get. All this trim and stuff is hard to get. But it's even harder not to restore this car. Uh, both the previous owner, Adrian Clements, who owned it for, I think, 18 years, and me, who owned it for four, both hope that this car stays in this condition. It's kind of famous. It's been displayed at uh, the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. It's been in magazines. It's been books. It's been featured all over the place. It's kind of a famous car with the patina on the hood the way it is, so if you're the lucky bidder, you can do what you want with the car, but you know, the two past owners, me and Adrian, hope it kind of stays in this condition. Good luck and happy hunting.